They're top of the list for every back to school shopper. Pencils. And not just any pencil, they gotta be number two pencils. But what the heck is a number two pencil? And when I'm taking a multiple choice test, why is it number two or bust? You can use a number three, you can use a number one, you can use any number you want, but if you want the most accurate account, you're gonna wanna use a number two. That's Mary Arnold. She's the elementary art teacher leader for Floyd County Schools. And yes, she wore her pencil earrings for our interview. The reason that number two pencils were originally the pencil that was chosen by schools is Scantrons. Um, I remember taking Scantrons when I was in school and it was the little bubbles you filled in and the test would always say, now make your mark heavy and dark. Well, the number two pencil's perfect for that. All right, so here's the deal with the number. It actually tells us how dense the lead in the pencil is. The higher the number, the more dense the lead. For the purposes of a test, a number one pencil is a little too soft and smudges easily. As you get higher in number, the lead becomes too dense and brittle to write and erase easily. The number two pencil is the Goldilocks pencil. It's just right. It fills the circle in completely with a nice rich mark, but you can still erase it easily and it doesn't dent the paper. Ironically, a lot of standardized tests are moving on to computers today, making the number two pencil less important in that regard. But the number of lead in pencil is still important. Hence why I talked to an art teacher for this topic. A lot of times when kids draw with really hard pencils, it'll put indents in the paper. Just being able to erase safely, not have it smudge, and not have it completely dent the paper is important for us art teachers.